Shortstop, Maybe Anthony the Volpe. The, Yankees, the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. The wind and the pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Here's Juan Soto. The kick in the pitch. Runner goes. That's in for a strike. Sanchez throws. Too late. Stolen base. Runner goes again. Bows it back with two strikes. Peralta throws over. Volpe dives back in safely. Runner on the move again. Pitch misses inside. Sanchez throws. Too late. Stolen base. Still two and two after the foul ball. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Mitchell makes the grab on the run. Now he launches a throw over his head. Giancarlo Stanton at the play. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. On the ground to third. And it finds its way through for a hit. And that rolls into the corner. Throws to second. And he'll reach second with one away. Well, as hot hitting that continues, he's been getting great baseball. results lately. Anthony Just found a way to slot that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the team. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. He nails one out to right, and they boost their lead. It's 3-0. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the lock, and gets the home run. One down, and stepping in for the Yankees, Glaber Torres. High fly ball out at the left center field. Yelich makes the grab. Two away down. It's a good recovery, though, after that giving up the hit. home run. The left not left allowing field. it to stay Allie. in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. Bounce to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. We go to the bottom of the first. Up now for Milwaukee, Garrett Mitchell. Kicks and deals. Mitchell. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he'll make it safely for a leadoff double in the bottom of the first. He was all over that one. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Cortez. He has a reputation, I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, Bye. that is pretty valuable. Got him. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Now it's Christian Yelich. Man, it's second. And now the count. One and two after the swing and the miss. Ball. And you won't see the skipper rush to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's earned a longer leash. And because of that, confidence grows with the players and teammates playing behind him that when things get a little rough out there, they know he'll find his way through it. Willie Adamas stands in. 
And a good eye there. How much of the ability to do that in a tight spot is the mental approach? I think it's very much being able to have a laser-like focus, slow everything down, stay right in that. Well, got to pause on that thought as that'll do it for the inning. And we're back. Leading Second off, inning Yankees. set to go. The Here's the Yankees the catcher round. now. Jose Trevino. Jose Trevino. In the air. Out towards left center. Yelich makes the catch and there's one gone. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. That again. The one down. Base is empty. 12. Trends. Rocketed out towards right center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And a couple of quick outs. Here's the third baseman, Oswaldo Cabrera. Cabrera. Warning track. Wall. And you can touch them all, baseball man. That'll fire up the dugout. It's 4-0. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Here's the shortstop at the play. Anthony Volpe. High fly ball down the left field line. Yelich on the move. Makes the catch inning over. And welcome back we to the ballpark. Go, go, go. Bottom go, go, go. half of inning number the two. Place, place, place. Now here is Reese Hoskins. Hoskins. And here it comes. There's a strike. <laughs> and another ball. Kicks and fires. Hard ground ball, face down. And the leadoff man aboard. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch that to the plate lately. He wasn't able the to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good, balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. Gets a piece and stays alive. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. So here's the Brewers DH. Jackson Chorio. That one finds the zone. And it's one and two. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Two away. Now the third baseman. Andrew Monasterio. Two outs. And yeah, there's ball four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much that gifted in first base with the a quick right free pass. Yeah. And now the right fielder, Joey Weaver. Foul ball still a one and two count. The pitch. And he grounds one to the right side. Gathers and throws to first. And that. Back here in Milwaukee. All set for the start of the inning. And now it's Juan Soto. Righty delivers. And that's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Absolutely hammered that baseball. Very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity. And at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. It's his eighth home run of the year. It's 
for a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying with it. Here comes a new arm for the Brewers, Wade Miley. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts now, have not been a big weapon Brewers. for him this year. So Number the defense one. should be active. Wade. And here Miley. is Anthony Rizzo. Nice grab. Over to first. And very nicely done for the out. Basically, have to be so quick with the first step reactions, hot shots like that. That's why they call it the hot corner. That's a perfect example, though. There's no way he gloves that one if he's not dialed in, anticipating something coming his way, staying on his toes every pitch. Really nice job to get back up, set himself, and make a strong throw across the diamond. One out, base is empty. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Here's Alex Verdugo. Now, left field. Alex Verdugo. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. That pitch started to hit and ended up on the outside edge, just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. And now the lefty. Got him swinging. Slider got him for a strike. As we go to the last of the third, here's the leadoff man for the Brewers, Garrett Mitchell. So now one and two. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. And he steps off. The pitch. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And another ball. Three ball. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. And they'll do it again. And the pitch. In the air, left field. Verdugo ranging after it. And there's one down. Sal Fraley up now for the Brewers. The pitch. That's in there. One and two. On the ground. And that's just foul. One down, base is empty. Battling here as he fouls it away. The pitch. On the ground at first. And he just beats him to the bag, gets the out, he wins the foot race there. And now it's Christian Yelich. One one down. And a foul ball. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Fires over to first. Yelich out on the play. Out number three. Here at American Family Field, onto the fourth, and here's the catcher, Jose Trevino. Up and in, and that's ball two. You know, these Yankees putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They were obviously able to run the starter out of the game in the third, so they've set the table for a win, and now I'm sure they're thinking it's time to feast. Here's the center fielder, Trent Grisham. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Goodbye, home run. Third home run of the season, and they add on. It's 7-0. High fastballs, especially with good velocity, can be really hard to catch up to. But he stays tall. His top hand works extremely well, and he absolutely clobbered it. So one out, nobody on. 
And now it's switch hitting third baseman Oswaldo Cabrera no, just off the, the outside edge. And it's two and one. Hit hard on the ground to short. Jump throw across his body. On the money. Nice play. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. Here comes a pitch. Now a drag punt, third base side. And he grabs it. Foul. Two outs. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. Two down, nobody on. Ball two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Two two on the way. Out towards left center. Mitchell going after it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. the fourth now the Brewers clean up hitter Willie Adamas strike two the line of the pitch stays alive Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Hoskins. And a pitch. And another ball. The Brewers with a lot of ground to make up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And it's fouled away. One down, base is empty. Missed inside with the curb. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Here comes a 3-2. Bounce to the right, Rizzo. He steps on the bag. Already two gone here in the home fourth. Two Gary. outs, base is empty. And now it's the catcher, Gary. Gary Sanchez. And a big swing and a miss. He's pitching well, One but ball. not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Got him swinging. New inning getting started. Watch Soto down. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Mitchell moving back. Goodbye, home run. Home run number 15 on the year. And they add a run. It's 8 0. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient. And it paid off. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. And a base hit into left field. That'll play. The bat. The, bat. the first base. So man aboard. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate at the belt and fires. Line drive, base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. Now, You're so much more second likely to get something you can Lee handle. Lee. Just a solid swing Lee. right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And here it comes. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Kicks and deals. And another ball. 
Traffic on the bases with one already in. And we're at the top of the fifth. Well struck right field. And it's into the gap. Rounds third headed for the plate. He'll score. And they now lead by nine. Picks himself up an RBI. Now but he can turn the ball around at 100. And Colin now Ray now. takes over on the mound. Well, he's now been now hit now pretty now hard now at now times now this now season, as you see with the big now. ERA. Oh, so man. this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. Next to hit, Alex Verdugo. And that one fouled off. But I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it. Oh, oh, looking for the K. Here's Jose Trevino. Jose Trevino. Base hit. One run is in. Another comes in to score. It's 11 to nothing. Run around at first with one gone. Trent Grisham will hit next. Left hand hitter waits. Line drive. Caught. That at bat is a positive sign, even though it probably doesn't feel like it. You hit the ball hard, but it doesn't always work out in your favor. Sometimes a defender is there to make a play. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Trevino around second, headed for third. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two-out double, second and third now. So digging in, Anthony Volpe. That just misses, and it's two and one. Two ball, one straight. Second and third, two down. On the ground to the left. Tosses to first. And they're happy to just get off the field after that. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the inning. And here is Jackson Chorio. On the ground to third. And foul ball. And now it's one and two. Got him looking. Picks up strikeout number seven. Andrew Monasterio up now for the Brewers. And a pitch. And another ball. Hard hit to third. Throw on to Rizzo. Two up, two down. Up Joey Weimer now at the plate. Oh, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Into the outfield base hit. So now back to the top of the order. Going to second. Oh, not in time. He's there easily. Everything came together for him. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Comes up empty. That's strike two. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. And we're back. All set for the top of the sixth. And stepping in for the Yankees, Juan Soto. Here's a 1-1. Line drive to short and caught. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. Yikes, that ball was scorched. An absolute missile. And it almost becomes self-defense as the fielder. When one of those things comes screaming towards you, watch your lips. Lifted in the air, right field. Weimer settles underneath it. Hauls it in for the out. Two away. Now that, that, Two outs, base is empty. Anthony so now the Yankees cleanup hitter, Anthony Rizzo. That one fouled off. Two outs. Fouls it off, still one and two. And the righty deals. To the right side, Fralick tosses to first. Rizzo out of the play. And back here in Milwaukee, bottom of the six. And the batter now, Sal Fralick. The wind and the pitch. 
Up the middle, a dive. Nice stop from his knees. The throw. Not in time. He's safe. Singy, that was a close play. And it looks like they're considering challenging the safety. Really close, Bill. And tough to tell in real time. We weren't sure. So you really can't blame him for wanting to take another look. Well, they've decided not to challenge it. And so Fralin gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Here's Yelich at the dish. One burner into the outfield for a knock. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. A couple of singles back to back. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Willie Adamas, the next to hit. The pitch. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Got him looking for the K. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball to me. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Runners at first and second with one gone here in the bottom of the sixth. Swings and misses. One That's strike two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Foul ball still a one and two count. Two on, one out. Hoskins started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and James Kingsley says he won around. Now, now catcher. Here's Gary, Gary Sanchez now. Jonathan Loisica gets the ball now. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. Yeah, the right hander deals. Got the back going too soon in strike two. Oh, well, that's that slur right there. He threw it extremely well. I talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. Chase the fastball up the ladder for a strike. Back here at American Family Field. Here's Glaber Torres. And that one is lifted in the air. Yelich on the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. And next for New York, Alex Verdugo. Alex Verdugo. So they're making a move for a bat off the bench. Everson Carrera looking to start something with one gone. One down, base is empty. Nope, off it. And another ball. Ripped on a line. Mitchell makes the grab, and there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jose Trevino. Aaron Boone making a move for a new bat. Austin Wells trying to get something going for him with two away. There's a swing and a drive. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Wells into second and he's got a double. All over that one right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Yeah, the batter now, Trent Grisham, right through there for a strike. Man on second, two down. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. Fires it to the plate. It's offline. The run comes in, and they extend their lead. 
Well done. Drives in the run. That pretty much split the zone down right the up. middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. One run across in the frame so far here in the top half of inning number seven. The Yankees going with a pinch hitter. John Birdie, the runner on first with two gone for him. Birdie. The 1-1. One, one. Out to short. And that oh. is the inning. So remaining in the game defensively, Everson Pereira. He'll be the new left fielder after entering the game as a pinch hitter. Also entering the game, Austin Wells. He takes over behind the plate. Also into the ball game, John Birdie. He's the new third baseman. Jackson Chorio digs in now. Birdie. Right-hander kicks deals. Swung on, belted. That one is back. And that is gone. He sends it out of here. And they've got their first run. It's 12-1. He got on plane with that high fastball, and look how his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Absolutely crushed that pitch. Next for the Brewers, Andrew Monasterio. Line drive. Grisham makes the catch for the out. One down. Joey Weimer up now for the Brewers. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. This to third. And they got him. Garrett Mitchell up now for the Brewers. Swing and a miss. One ball. Two straight. The Brewers with a lot of ground to make up here at the bottom of the seven. Out towards right center field. Soto makes the catch and that'll ready to begin the eighth. And the batter will be the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. The 3 1. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Mitchell gets under it. And there's one down. Juan Soto getting ready to hit. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Clearly seeing the ball now very now. well in this one. We've all seen the defensive shift make a big difference in defending against pull hitters, but it's not foolproof. He pulled it as expected, but he found a hole that time. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. Oh. And another ball. Into the outfield base hit. Lead runner around second. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Back-to-back -back -back singles. That ball was drilled. 106 off the bat, and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. Now at the plate, Anthony okay. Rizzo. And that's outside. The Yanks up big in this one, and we're at the top of the eighth. Struck him out looking. Labor Torres up to him. Labor Torres. Two on, two outs. On a line, base hit. Coming around third is Soto. The throws hey. offline, he's safe. And the lead continues to grow. So the Brewers bring out a new pitcher from the pen, Trevor McGill. And we all know about a slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high. It just breaks a ton. Yeah, now two balls and a strike. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Righty delivers. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. And he deals. 
That Rebound. misses, and that's ball three. Liner, base hit. Just kind of sliced that one into center. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Two outs. Two and two. Base hit, one run in already. Runner holds up at third, base is still loaded. Two away as one comes across. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. And now, Trent Grisham. Pitch misses, and the count's full. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Yelich pulls it in on the run. And we're back. Here's the second baseman, Sal Fraley. The second baseman. Right-handed reliever. And that one fouled off. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one out now. Christian Yelich up now for the Brewers. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Fights that one away, still one and two. And a ground ball to first. And it gets by him. Man at first. Willie Adamas up now for the Brewers. Swing at a bouncer. To first, but it pulls him off the bag. So one out with two aboard. Next to hit, Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins. Two on, one out. And it is two and one. Two balls, one straight. Foul ball there. Still two and two after the foul ball. Runners at first and second with one gone here in game one of this three game set. And that's off the inside edge. Three and two now. Roll to short, could be two. One at second. On to first, double play. And that's the inning. John Birdie at the plate. John Birdie. And the pitch. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. And a base hit into right center field. And that turns the lineup over. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did. It. Birdie runs. Pitch in for a strike. Safe at second, and he easily steals the bag. Check on the runner. Birdie back in on a dive. Runner goes again. Out to short. Sends it to first. Now one gone in the ninth. And up next for New York, Juan Soto. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. And a pinch. Base hit. And a run comes in. 
comes through with the RBI. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Hit hard, base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Back to back base hits. Oh, Got a fastball, big, big. middle of the plate, jumped the all over. Big, big. Absolutely big, big. smoked that ball. Big, big. Now here's the Yankees cleanup hitter, Anthony Rizzo. Ground ball could be two. There's one. He's out. And it's a double play to end the inning. Back here in Milwaukee, Gary Sanchez at the plate. The catcher, Gary. The pitch. In the air out towards right center. Grisham trying to get there. And it's caught for the out. He's two outs away. Now it's the DH. Jackson Chorio. Sanker catches the zone at the knees. This one in the air. In position. Makes the grab. Two down. So last Up chance for the Brewers. Andrew Monasterio now at the plate. Monasterio. The Brewers down to their final strike. Oh. And it's filled up. Three balls. Two strikes. Got it. And the crowd goes on disappointed as this one draws to a close. Well, I don't know what they did in the cage day or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by double digits, something is clicking. That batting coach feels pretty good about himself right now, but more so the players. They can't wait for the next one. Come back out, score, and get another W. A 15-1 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.